The Chronicles of Orion Thorn, Starward Bound. Written by Hans Scharler. In the twilight of a world not unlike our own, yet veiled with the mysteries of uncharted stars, lies the domain of my explorations. This world, Terra Nova, is a tapestry of ancient secrets and futuristic marvels, a place where the remnants of lost civilizations whisper beneath neon skies. The cities here are a fusion of the archaic and the avant-garde, where towering spires of glass and steel rise alongside ivy-clad ruins. I am Orion Thorn, a name that perhaps echoes in some corners of this world more than others. Born into a lineage of astronomers and archaeologists, the stars and their stories have been my companions since youth. It was under the guidance of my father, a man who sought the heavens in his observatory, and my mother, who unearthed histories in the dust of forgotten lands, that my path as an explorer was carved. My expeditions have taken me from the sun-drenched plateaus of the Martian colonies to the shadowed valleys of the moon's forgotten temples. In each journey, I seek not just the thrill of discovery, but also the understanding of the mysteries that bind us to the universe. My peers regard me with a mix of admiration and skepticism, for my quests often skirt the edges of the known and the unknown. It was on a rain-soaked evening in the archives of the ancient order of celestial studies that my latest adventure began. As lightning danced across the sky, casting shadows over tomes older than time, my fingers stumbled upon a brittle map. This was no ordinary chart of stars or lands. It was a map leading to the Obsidian Sector, a region of space veiled in legend and said to be unreachable. The legends spoke of a celestial gateway within this sector, a bridge to a realm beyond our understanding, whispered to hold the answers to the origin of the cosmos. Many had dismissed it as a fable. But there, in the fragile lines of that map, I saw the flicker of truth. This was a challenge that beckoned to the core of my being, a call to the unquenchable curiosity that has always driven me. With the map as my guide, I knew that I was about to embark on my most perilous and profound journey yet. Unbeknownst to me, this adventure would not only take me beyond the celestial veil, but also deep into the unexplored territories of my own soul. As the dawn of my journey approached, the preparations consumed me. The map to the Obsidian Sector, though a guide, was cryptic, its symbols and references belonging to a bygone era. I spent nights in the Great Library of Solaris, poring over ancient manuscripts and star charts, deciphering the path that would lead me through the cosmic labyrinth. The nature of this expedition required not just a keen mind, but a crew versatile in the arts of space navigation and survival in the unknown. I reached out to old comrades. Lyra, a pilot whose skills had navigated us through the asteroid belts of Andromeda, and Calix, a scientist whose knowledge of astrophenomena was unparalleled. They greeted the challenge with a mix of enthusiasm and wariness, understanding the risks and the lure of the unexplored. Our vessel, the Starwayfarer, was equipped for the journey. Its hull was reinforced for potential meteor showers, its engines tuned for swift escapes, and its library stocked with the wisdom of a thousand worlds. As we prepared to depart, I felt the weight of the unknown pressing upon us. The Obsidian Sector was uncharted for a reason, and we were about to discover why. Our journey began under the silver glow of Terra Nova's twin moons. The Starwayfarer cut through the cosmos with grace, leaving the familiarity of charted space behind. As we ventured further, the stars seemed to whisper secrets, each one a sentinel watching our passage into the void. The first challenge we faced was the Nebula of Eternal Storms a vast cloud of cosmic dust and erratic electromagnetic fields. Navigation was a nightmare. Our instruments flickered and waned under its influence. Lyra's skills were put to the test as she steered us through the tempest, her hands steady even as the ship bucked like a wild creature. Within the nebula, we stumbled upon an abandoned station, its origins a mystery. Here, we made a discovery, an ancient artifact pulsing with an unknown energy. Calix hypothesized it was a key of sorts, perhaps a piece of the puzzle in unlocking the gateway we sought. But with the artifact came a moral quandary. We detected a distress signal, a ship stranded in the nebula, possibly lured by the same legends that had beckoned us. To aid them meant to delay our own quest, and in the vastness of space, time was a luxury we scarcely had. Yet, the code of the cosmos is clear. One does not ignore a call for help in the void. We set course for the distressed ship, knowing that this detour might cost us our chance at reaching the Obsidian Sector. But some challenges are not just about the physical hurdles, 
They test the very essence of who we are, as explorers and as beings of the cosmos. In that decision, I felt the journey was shaping us just as much as we were navigating it. As the Starwayfarer emerged from the nebula of eternal storms, a vista of unparalleled wonder unfolded before us. There, amidst the celestial ballet of swirling galaxies and star clusters, lay the Obsidian Sector, its heart pulsating with a mysterious energy that beckoned us closer. The artifact from the abandoned station hummed in response, its purpose becoming clear. It was a compass, guiding us through the labyrinth of cosmic anomalies that shielded this forgotten corner of the universe. The siren call of discovery drew us further on our journey. Then, in a moment that seemed to defy time itself, we beheld it, an ancient gateway, suspended in the void. It was a colossal structure, its surface etched with symbols that whispered of lost civilizations and the flow of time. This was the celestial bridge of legend, a portal to realms unknown. But our awe was short-lived. Draven Kell, a notorious explorer, was in command of a rival ship that emerged from the shadows. Kell was a seeker of forbidden knowledge, his reputation stained with tales of plundered worlds and vanishing artifacts. He claimed the gateway as his discovery, his eyes greedy for the secrets it held. A tense confrontation ensued. Kell demanded the artifact, the key to activating the gateway. But to relinquish it would mean to unlock a power we scarcely understood. A power that, in the wrong hands, could unravel the very fabric of the universe. In the heart of this standoff, a revelation dawned upon me. The gateway was not merely a physical passage. It was a test, a guardian of a truth far greater than any treasure. It was a mirror, reflecting the soul of whoever sought to traverse its threshold. I realized then that our journey was never about the destination, but about the choices we made and the reasons behind them. With resolve, I made my decision. I refused Kel, understanding that some discoveries are meant not to be claimed but to be respected. The standoff culminated in a harrowing escape as we maneuvered the Starwayfarer away from Kel's clutches, the gateway fading into the cosmos, its secrets safe. As we set our course back to Terra Nova, I pondered the true discovery of our journey. It was not a city of gold or a trove of alien knowledge, but the revelation that the pursuit of understanding, tempered with wisdom and respect, was the greatest adventure of all. The universe, in its infinite mystery, was not a realm to be conquered, but a story to be part of. A story that continued to unfold before us, inviting us to explore, not with greed, but with wonder. The return trip to Terra Nova was reflective, not filled with the joy of discovery, but rather with introspection. The Starway Fairer, once a vessel of eager anticipation, now sails the cosmic seas under the weight of profound realizations. Lyra and Calix shared in the silent reflection, each lost in their thoughts about the gateway and the path not taken. As we re-entered the familiar orbit of our home world, I grappled with the aftermath of our decisions. There were no triumphant celebrations awaiting us, no grand tales of new worlds discovered, or ancient mysteries unraveled. Instead, there was a quiet acknowledgement of the journey's true impact the choices we made at the edge of the unknown. In the days that followed, I found myself walking the cobblestone streets of Terra Nova's ancient districts, the echoes of our adventure resonating in my mind. I realized that the greatest discovery of our journey was a new understanding of exploration itself. It was not about claiming the secrets of the universe as trophies, but about seeking knowledge with humility and respect. I pondered the nature of the gateway, the celestial bridge that remained a mystery, Perhaps it was never meant to be crossed. Maybe its purpose was to be a sentinel, a reminder of the vastness and sanctity of the cosmos. In choosing to protect its secrets, we honored the true spirit of exploration, one that valued wisdom over conquest. This journey also brought a personal revelation. I understood now that the explorer's path was not just about the physical destinations reached, but also the internal landscapes traversed. It was about understanding one's place in the grand tapestry of existence about the harmony between the seeker and the sought. In my quiet moments at the observatory where my journey as an explorer began, I found peace. I realized that every star in the sky was both a destination and a story, each with its own secrets and lessons. The universe was an open book, inviting us to read it not just with our eyes, but with our hearts. And so, as I gazed up at the stars from the balcony of the observatory, I knew that my journey was far from over. 
there were more mysteries to explore and more truths to uncover. But I would approach each new adventure with a deeper understanding, a respect for the unknown, and a heart open to the lessons of the cosmos. In the end, Orion Thorne's true journey was defined not by the places he visited, but rather by the knowledge he gained and the perspective that came with it. It was a journey that transcended the physical realm, reaching into the very soul of an explorer. As the Starwayfarer docked at the spaceport of Terra Nova, the feeling of returning home carried a new depth. The bustling streets and towering spires of the city, once symbols of familiar territory, now felt like markers on a map of a journey that had changed me in ways I was only beginning to understand. In the days that followed, the story of our expedition became a subject of quiet speculation among the circles of explorers and scholars. While we had not returned with tangible treasures, the tale of the Celestial Gateway and our encounter with Draven Kell ignited a different kind of interest. It sparked conversations about the ethics of exploration and the responsibilities that came with uncovering the mysteries of the cosmos. For me, the resolution of our journey was not found in accolades or public recognition, but in the quiet satisfaction of having upheld the principles I valued most. The decision to protect the Gateway's secrets had reaffirmed my belief that some mysteries were guardians of greater truths, mean to be approached with reverence and care. The impact of our discovery resonated in academic circles, rekindling interest in responsible and respectful cosmic exploration. It was a subtle shift, but a significant one, marking a new chapter in how humanity interacted with the unknown. As I stood once again in the observatory, my gaze fixed on the stars, I contemplated my next move. The universe was vast, and I knew that there were countless adventures waiting in the shadowed corners of space and time. But the experiences of the Obsidian Sector had imprinted new wisdom in my approach. The final reflection that lingered in my mind was the understanding that exploration, was not just about discovering the unknown, but about understanding our place within it. Each journey was a dialogue with the universe, a chance to learn not just about distant worlds, but also about ourselves. As the night deepened and the stars shone with the light of a billion untold stories, I made a silent vow. The lessons I learned from the celestial gateway would direct my future journeys, quests not for conquest but for understanding. Journeys not just into the depths of space, but also into the depths of being. With that, I turned from the telescope, the map of the cosmos etched in my mind. There were new horizons to explore and new mysteries to unravel. And as Orion Thorne, explorer of the unknown, I was ready to embark on the next chapter of my endless journey through the stars.